Hey, good afternoon. All right, man, here we go again. Uh, the, the, the verses, he's, he's, he's getting his people ready. No doubt about it. He's telling us what to do, what to expect. Um, he's telling those to, to listen to his word. Man, he's wrapping it up. There's no doubt about it. So here we go. It's a beautiful verse, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. First, I'll read it the way it is in most of the Bibles. Hey. And then uh, I'll take every word back to its origin that we can. And look, there's spiritual and physical meaning in every verse. And you'll see it for yourself if you take these words back and some words you might not understand, even words you think you do understand, to get a deeper knowledge of them, you'll define them. And the Holy Spirit tells me, sometimes I, I just figure I know what it is and I'm writing it down. And he says, no, I want you to define it, to clarify it, and read it. You know, and then some words I just don't know, and I'm like, oh, I'll leave that one out because I really don't know what it means, and just keep going because you still get the, the gist of what's being said there. But he'll say, no, put that word in and look it up and look at the definition. So it's amazing. And you go from origin, and this word's from origin to origin. So follow that path too. I mean, really get into his word. It's so beautiful. So this is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses... The same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So he's telling his disciples, basically. And, and I guess this is Timothy, 2 Timothy, right? So he's telling the people, those things that I'm teaching you, right? Uh, teaching many witnesses. Um, and I commit it to faithful men. The same commit you. You commit to other faith, faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So continue this. So you can teach. Spread the word. Spread the word. Okay. Plant the seeds. All right. So it's, it's a beautiful verse. Did they get it right? Yeah. Yeah. They did a pretty good job. But details, man. Details. And this is what wakes people up. That You need to wake up and understand who you are, what this world is, what the whole system is about and uh the difference between god's kingdom and this fleshly kingdom and uh who runs which kingdom you know god's in control of everything make no mistake about that this whole, everything here glorifies him because you it's his spiritual control the spiritual world permeates everything and when you're awakened by the gift of his holy spirit you can see it you can see it clearly he heals your blindness and your deafness and this is a verse that mentions that as well. So here we go. 2 Timothy 2, verse 2. Therefore, who in all their inflections are endowed with the faculty of hearing as not being deaf. So he heals our deafness. That's what he came to do. Uh, are attended to, to understand and perceive what is said in one's presence, in one's presence. To learn a teaching, to comprehend it. Okay. The nearest relationship from above to give his own to draw nigh unto Christ unto me it said but unto Christ uh, through place and time for a cause within many witnesses who have proved the strength and genuineness of their faith in Christ these follow those men and women who in all their inflections are supplied the definite article and were martyred so we're following the early Christians who were martyred for their faith of my own, who were martyred of his own because they stood in the face of death and they faced it because they understood what our bodies are, what this world is, because they were taught from the apostles themselves. Look, the translators couldn't understand it. The apostles and prophets, the people who wrote, were spoken to by God's Holy Spirit and wrote the scriptures down originally, they got it right. And when you, you can't see it, though, the translators, oh, we live in Babylon, the land of confusion, all different languages. When it was trans, translated to all these different languages, it caused confusion. You don't quite understand what your body are and what, what your bodies are, what this world is. You don't quite understand it. But the early Christians did because they were being taught directly from the apostles of God. And they stood, stared death in the eye and were willing, were willing to lay down their life and martyrdom for what they believed. Because they knew the truth. They could see it. Just like those who are his today can see it. Because we've been awakened by the gift of his Holy Spirit. We can see it clearly. Okay. Now we don't know everything. That's for sure. But 
but we can see this fact, no doubt about it. Okay, so of my own, set together before one, teaching, explaining truth, to feed trust for protection, what is put forth from above, to be established and ordained, committed to a purpose, to bid, to bid others to stand, and to keep a family intact of a kingdom, to escape in safety. There's that, there's that to uphold and sustain the authority of the foundation. Stand ready and be prepared of a steadfast mind, abiding in the covenant that has been established of a person of persons who show themselves faithful and worthy of trust, believing God's promises, convinced that Jesus has been raised from the dead and is the Messiah and author of salvation, tr trustworthy and sure, persuaded uh, of an inward certainty of God to believe and listen, obeying, yielding to, and complying with confidence to rely on God and Christ, as of the angel's notion of a weakness being led into a mistake and prompted to sin in reference to the twofold nature of man, body and soul, the corrupt, the corrupt or a Christ follower conformed to the nature of God, joined to a human being of a betrothed of a betrothed, of the bride of Christ, of maturity, of maturity of both men and women, whosoever, that in all their inflections, straying from the bath, are supplied the definite article of his Holy Spirit himself, grafted back into the tree of life, through Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, the first, last, and only physical representation of God himself, in the likeness of simple flesh. He was not simple. Okay, so, supplied the definite article wherein every man, whomsoever shall follow, I exist and am present. Wherever I am, I am more than enough, sufficient to come upon unexpectedly in intimacy with one to endure, teaching discourse to impart instruction and instill doctrine, uh, and that's the word of God, I'm sure, to instill doctrine, to be enjoined with another, not of the same nature, by their different form, by their different form also. Simple flesh, different form. Sinful flesh, a different form. And he is enjoined to us by a marriage, right? By coming into us, by us inviting Christ into our heart, being born again of his spirit, grafted back into the tree of life. Now, it's a beautiful verse, right? And it's the beauties in the, in the details there, right? Never lose my wallet. Thank God. <laughs> but anyways, he told me something. He told me something, and I'm going to put it out there because he told me. And he, like I said, when he spoke to me, I just wrote it down. I would have never thought about this. I wasn't even thinking about this, going in that direction at all. But uh, he revealed this to me in the spirit. And take it from what it take, Believe it. Whatever. This is what. I mean, I, he just fed me, and I just wrote it down. It's short here. The Feast of Trumpets, it's talking about the Feast of Trumpets, is not a day as man would think, as man would think it to be. So the Feast of Trumpets is not a day as man would think it to be. It's a spiritual condition of my children, born of my spirit. Calling forth is a child to their parent to come and pick them up, to carry them to safety in comforting arms strong and sure of a loving father, a feast of charity and love. As a feast of charity and love. That's what his Holy Spirit told me, man. You know, you can believe that, but that's what, I mean, he fed it right to me. I have no, I have no doubt about it. I know he speaks to me. I have no doubt about it. I could never, I could never think of this stuff, ever, ever. And, and, I, and I don't know where, I mean, I know where that came from. That, I mean, it came straight from him, but I would have never thought about that. I, I wasn't even thinking about this or whatever, but I just felt this. And as he, it's a funny thing, man, the way he works, because as he was telling me these words and I was writing down, writing them down, I was listening to my iPod, right? And I had a, a you know, just a playlist that I normally have. And um, and, I was, and right when he was giving me this about the Feast of Trumpets, this word, not being a day as man would think it to be, 
It's a spiritual condition of my children, born of my spirit, calling, calling as trumpets, right? Calling forth as a child to their parent to come and pick them up, to carry them to safety in comforting arms, strong and sure of a loving father as a feast of charity and love. That's, that came straight from this Holy Spirit. I have no doubt about it. I know. I know. I have no doubt about it. So as he was telling me this, and I was just writing it down, the song that was came on and was playing on my iPod, I mean, it was just... It's a, <laughs> I don't know who sings it, but I know the words. It's like, I'll be there and I'll be around. It's an older song. I'll be around, right? Yeah, I'll be there and I'll be around. So, it, I mean, it was just confirmation. That's what it was. He was giving me confirmation through the music that just happened to come on. And I've got thousands of songs on my iPod and I just hit shuffle and that's the song that came on when he was telling me that it's the way he works man he's so beautiful he's so loving he's reassuring us he's comforting us just like the words he was telling me all right so there's that all right god bless love respect everybody uh people are turning man and you can see the abomin abomination of desolation taking place within their soul and they're revealing themselves and when you're born again in the spirit god heals your blindness and you can see it and they reveal themselves to you, you know, they do. And I can see it. And uh, it's a lot of them. We're surrounded by them. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. It's the truth. You need to wake up and understand that this physical world is temporary, dying, decaying, and God's putting an end to it. And he's bringing in the, the righteousness, the light of his kingdom. And he's going to call his people home first. And then he's going to give this world one more final shaking, man. So you wake up and understand the truth, the truth. All right. God bless. Have a great day. Bye.